um, on here, but it's got MicroPython already on this controller. It's this MicroPython on here. There's nothing, really there shouldn't be anything that I need to do uh, to get this to run. Uh, I should just be able to connect to it and then screen into this um, through the TTY and then, um, and then run Python directly on here. <coughs> so in the, in, the, in the terminal, what I can do is just clear this down. I don't know why I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to type into the OBS screen. That's stupid. I need the terminal. Here we go. So I need to, let's just clear that down. Um, if I did, um, if I did an LS of dev TTY and then dot and then asterisk, um, we can see that we have one, um, TTY available to us and that is the Bluetooth incoming port on the iMac here. Um, I'm hoping that once we connect this, I'll be able to be a, uh, be able to access this. So let's go ahead and do that. Just bear with me just a second whilst I do. I'm going to have to pull this all out. Hold on. There we go. Okay. Obviously make sure you have the... <laughs> that was challenging. <laughs> make sure you have the USB cable in the right place. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but the, the, there is a red light that's going on. Um, let's see, can I, uh, you might have seen that flash there. That did flash. Um, I, th I have a box that I might be able to put this on, so it's a little bit more um, up to the camera. Do do do. There we go. Okay, so that's now nice and connected. I'm gonna just zoom that out a little bit, just so you can see the whole thing. Woo. Okay. Um, so if I did um, again, I don't want to type on there. There we go. If I did an LS of this, we can now see. Woo! We've got another one. This is the USB modem, and then there's a whole bunch of numbers. This is the um, the way we can uh, access these micro Python boards directly from uh, the USB. Um, and what I would do is I would screen into this. <laughs> so if you're not aware of what screen can do, it's a very powerful tool um, that I use on a very ba on daily basis with all sorts of projects. It basically means that you can open up a terminal window and then you can attach it and detach it or attach it or and detach. So, for example, if I was working with a, a client on a Friday um, and I wanted to run a script and I needed to go home um, and I didn't want to uh, turn the script off because it needed to run overnight, maybe it was going over several thousand uh, records, uh, hundreds of thousands of records, then I would put, I would run this in a screen, okay, and then I would detach that screen. The actual stuff is running in the background and then on the following Monday I would come in and then I would attach to that screen and it would be basically like I haven't gone on, on a, a weekend. Um, and we can use the same, the similar principle with connecting to this. So what I would do is I would do screen and then I would do hyphen dev TTY and then dot and it's USB and then all the numbers. So I just press tab there and it auto completed. So if I open this up, we can see now that we, we are now actually in this board, MicroPython version 1.11. Um, I'm not sure what the updated version is. I haven't actually done any firmware updates at all, um, but this is a Pi, uh, Pi B, which is Pi board version 1.1. Uh, and then that's the firmware uh, STM, I think. And um, and you see that we've got this um, the one two three four um, arrow here. This is the Python prompt. We are in Python, uh, so we can start typing out Python. And when we're doing that, we're actually on this board. You see, on the board. Um, so I could do print. This is where I get confused with PHP and and uh, Python and everything else. So print, and then we put in hello world. So that's probably the easiest, right? If I can spell hello world, of course. 
there we go. So we've got a, a Python output 